we got back to playing a physical brand of football, you know, when you look at the uh, the offensive line and the tight ends, the way they played, and, uh, and then, you know, you got two good backs, three good backs back there. You know, everybody was really just, uh, you know, focused, light, laser locked in and, and excited to you know, get after it. And I think that was part of it. You know, after a bad taste in your mouth from the week before, I think, you know, we had, uh, you know, great focus and, uh, and the ability to come out and play physical. They're not the same team that we faced last year, but they're able to do it both on the ground and in there. So we're going to make sure we have to cover every single base, whether it's the front line or the back line. We're just all going to have to make sure all our boxes are checked, especially they're probably trying to exploit our weaknesses as other teams have done before. So we got to make sure we cover all those during this week, make sure we're sound on defense and come out strong. Oh, yeah. So I uh, found out Wednesday night that I was going to be starting the game. So. Uh, Coach Bowman got me prepared on Thursday for, uh, we went 24 reps, so felt really prepared going into that one. Um, preparation wasn't any different. You know, you got to prepare for every game the same way, even if you're not playing. Um, I know the first, like the start of the season, I was always just trying to be on the sideline, be a hype up guy uh, for the team to make sure everyone was, you know, on their feet, being as loud as we could, just to have a, uh, any impact that we could for the team to help them out. Um, being able to start was, uh, Another huge impact. I had a senior, Matt Share help me out. He was right by my side all game, letting me know what I could do a little bit better and stuff like that. So that was definitely huge and it helped me out a lot. Yeah, so Holy Cross, is, they're a really good team. You know, it's a great opportunity for us. You know, um, you know we're going to have to be uh, really focused. We're going to have to pay attention to detail. We're going to have to string all three phases together, uh, you know, if we're going to win this football game. You know, you, you know uh, we're going to have to protect the football. Turnovers will play a big part in it. And, uh, you know, we'll have to match their physicality. I feel like from the first snap, we're just going to have to come out strong. They're going to be trying to, especially after they lost to Harvard last week, they're going to try to come out strong, try to be more physical. We just got to match their intensity, match their physicality, out, outman them, basically. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really nice to be able to play in the Valley because, um, I mean, last week we had Liberty at the game. Um, so it was nice for Dallas Holmes, you know, Liberty alum to be able to have his high school come out and watch him play. Um, I know some guys on the team, like Rico here, he's from Georgia, so he doesn't have the opportunity to have some of his school and uh, some of his old friends be able to come out and watch him play like the guys in the Valley do. So it's definitely nice to be able to do that. Yeah, you always got to be prepared for everything. Um, yeah, you know what? I mean, they lost to two of the top teams in the CAA and URI and uh, UNH. They, you know, they lost to two of the top Ivy teams in Yale and Harvard. You know, and they lost to Syracuse, so they, they haven't played a soft schedule. Um, you know, you know our guys will be ready for them. You know, we're going to be excited. I mean, obviously, it's a, it's another home game, and you know we're expecting you know, hopefully a lot of guys to come back that are alums to see us play. And and like I said, it's just a, it's a fantastic opportunity for our guys to go out and prove you know how hard we've worked.